Hello everyone, this is the Prussian Prince with our Tola War Attila tournament match cast. This is the Cup of Nations for Vanilla Attila. Group stage group B again, I think. I'm gonna check right after I cast this match. So I need to figure out if it's actually group B. But this is the first group stage. Don't know if there's gonna be more than one group stage. I know it's not Vanilla Attila, it's Charlemagne. What am I saying? And I'm playing as uh, Mercia. Whereas my opponent here is uh, a Serer, playing as the Kingdom of the Danes. And as you can see, he has no cavalry because the Danes have no cavalry. But before we begin, I want to thank Cheryl, Gamilkara, and uh, Help Toll War for making videos of this tournament. Like, really, both Cup of, Cup of Nations. Because it's not a lot of tournament videos. Or, uh, Total War nowadays and I've seen that they've been doing they've been making quite a few videos so that makes me happy to see that there's still people who are actually posting the matches on YouTube so that other people can watch and learn from them and uh, yeah, see how the good players play anyway let's go back to this game so because I saw, okay, he's the Danes, I decided to try something. I haven't tested this, of course. Well, actually, I have. I didn't really test any of the builds that I've played in this tournament. I've just played and hoped for the best, really. But anyway, <laughs> let's get to the game. So, I have... Uh, where's my journal? Okay, I have a Royal Companion with Brace. Then I have a Furt Axeman on each flank. So that's just three infantry units, alright? Infantry units, all right. Like that's pretty much it that I have for infantry. However, here comes the interesting part. So I have four royal horsemen, kind of like on the right, as you can see. One is bronze one, and uh, then I have three horsemen on the left. No, make that four horsemen. My bad. All bronze one as well. As for missiles, as you can see, I have a lot of missiles. I have one, two, three, four furred archers and four select archers. So, I'm doing this against the Danes because honestly, the Danes, they don't have any cavalry. So, what are they going to do? And I can't match the Danes in terms of infantry. So, I just have to skirmish against them. So, I thought this was the best thing I could bring or... What, what I thought was optimal at the time. We'll see if it actually works or not. But anyway, time to go over Sarah's build. Who's again playing as the Danes. He has a Warlord's Companions General. Bronze 1 with Brace. As you would expect. Same as my General. Brace as well. Because it's an infantry unit. Most of the time, unless it's like an axe or something. You have Brace on the General. If it's an infantry unit. Anyway. The rest of his build. Well, you can see he does actually have some skirmishers. Uh, one, two, three, four armed archers, and I'd say that this is a good choice because they actually have very nice armor here, 46 armor, so I'd be wasting a lot of the ammo on my third archers and select archers on them, so that wouldn't be good. However, the rest of his forces, well, let's see, he has a sword herman in the front and a spearman on each of the flanks. And then he actually has two more sword herdmen, one on each flank, right behind those spearmen. So, axe-wise, one, two, the one. Alright, so he has four axe freemen in the center, then an axeman unit on each flank. Now, he actually has another spearman unit on each flank, kind of like in the back. And last but not least, two berserkers. So, now these two berserkers... They're really going to make it very difficult for me. Because they are really tough units. I'm gonna show you why. So, okay, 60 men, it looks like they're not so great. But let's look at their stats, okay? So, first of all, they're very heavy. So that makes them really sturdy. Then look at their attack, their damage, their charge bonus, their defense, their armor. Pretty much every stat. Health as well, so they're super tanky. And lots of morale. Their only issue is that they really have like low speed. They're so slow. 
However, if you look at uh, the abilities here, Wedge is eh, infantry wedge, not great. They do have Berserk though, so this is going to be nice because they'll make them rested once they're engaged. They're resistant to fatigue, so like... And the, the, but the big thing is that... Where's the scare? Yeah, they scare everyone. These units scare absolutely everyone, so... Well, not absolutely. But yeah. Keep that in mind. Anyway, I'm just going to fast forward right now. Yeah, the Berserkers are gonna have to be the ones that I'm gonna have to take care of because they're really rough. Also, focusing the spears though, because if I kill the spears, then I can charge all of the axes with my cav and it's gonna be fine. As you can see now though, I am just uh, surrounding the Danes. You can see Royal Companions running away. This is a problem though, because the Royal Companions here... They are trying to take out our general they're not that fast, because they're very heavy. So as you can see, the speed is 30. Compared to the Axes, they have 38 speed. So eventually they're gonna catch those guys. Those Royal Companions. And now my Royal Companions down to 108, 105 men. I should have pulled out this unit uh, long ago from here. Because this is getting scary. However, I am moving in this uh, Royal Horseman unit to charge the rear of these axes, right? Because if I charge the rear of this these axes, what's gonna happen is that they'll just nearly instantly die and uh, then my general will be free here. So this is a good opportunity for me to get rid of these axes. I do get slightly stopped though, but here comes the charge. It's gonna go straight into the axe freeman. As you can see, damage was dealt. This unit loses like half the units, half the men in the charge. Would have expected it to lose more no, that, though, and just because I pulled through, I lost like nearly half the unit. But this does allow me to go for another charge. Got another Royal Horseman unit around here, so I, I engage with my general from the front. Then I do a nice rear charge onto the Axe Freeman, so they're gonna take significant casualties here. Just look at them drop. Get a nice charge here into his Axe Freeman. He does get the brace off, so this makes his units kind of not die as fast. Now I'm sending in my third Axeman here. Gonna pull them out because I know he has Sword Herdman here. So pulling out is gonna be necessary, but I get caught. This wasn't a good engagement though because I didn't get the Axe Freeman and I'm losing the Horseman, so not great. Here I'm trying to decide if I should go for his General or something else. So I actually do charge his General. Not a best move. I could have gone in for his archers, I think, and that would have been more effective. However, I killed both of these axes here, so that's great. Now I still have the problem of the berserkers, though, and I did waste this third axeman here. Getting a nice charge here, though, with the horsemen. Pulled out, which isn't great, but still under fire here, so this axeman might rout. I do get into the armored archers, but it's not really the best of charges, so it doesn't really kill anything. It's just being really annoying. Trying to pull away as much as possible. He's chasing one of my units with three units, so that's fine. These guys are going to be really tired. I noticed another opportunity here, so I charge in. And his spearmen are also not braced, so they're going to take some damage. But apparently not as much as I thought at all. Pulling out those, so I'm giving him some... Oh, really nice here, though. Focusing the spearmen down with these guys. And they're using heavy shot, I believe, so damage they're doing right now is insane to the spearman unit. Sending around more real horsemen and third axemen. Got these axemen here. I was thinking about sending them into the berserkers but I'm like okay berserkers? No thanks. Not gonna charge those. I can't see his other berserker here. There it is. Okay so the two berserkers are here. I'm trying to focus them down because if I can kill them that would be really important. Here though, again, shooting down the spear unit. I should be focusing this axe because really it's just like uh, able to be shot at. But now my archers here are getting shot. So I have to make the decision to pull them out and reorganize for better shots. Still focusing the spears because they need to die. Now I'm going to pull out these archers here so my royal horsemen can get the charge.
I don't have any units in this area because he's really close to the red line, so I could get cut off, really. I'm gonna pull back my archers here. Still getting shots, but he's missed a lot of his shots, so that's fine. Shooting this massive blob, or specifically hitting these sword herdmen. Because if I can get them down... Now I'm targeting the axemen from the flank as well. So this spearman is going to go down to these furred archers here. This is a massive blob that I'm shooting at, so it's really good, actually. Yeah, it's not great use, though, of my volleys, because... Yeah, while I'm killing some of the archers here, I'm not doing as much damage as I could to the sword herdman. So really, this is kind of what he wants. Here I'm going to try and get a charge off. So it has 107 kills already. Let's see how many it's going to get. He pulled out his archers in time. So I pull out my horsemen here and I lose so many. Pulling out really hurts a lot. Didn't get too many kills. But at least I made his archers blob up here on his general. I'm getting some nice shots off into his freemen I believe here. So this is really good. Not a lot of them are firing. As you can see there's like some... Weird stuff going on with their animations and such. Yeah, finally getting the proper shots off here. I'm shooting the rear of the sword herdman, so no missile block for you. This axeman is going to bite the dust. Goodbye, poor axeman unit. It's just gonna rout, and then once it does, I can just pull out my cav. Focusing the Sword Herdman, but soon I should actually be focusing his Warlord Companion, really. Because that is more important to shoot at. So I charge in with the Royal Horseman, lose barely nothing, and I take down that Axe unit. So that was a really good move by me, I should say. That I managed to do that. But uh, he's being very resilient, that is. The main player here. I'm still focusing down these Berserkers because they need to die. Not taking too much damage though. He spread them out nicely, so they don't take that much damage. I'm however also focusing the Gen and... While the Gen also has a lot of armor, lots of heavy shots should still do him in. Yeah, these Berserkers still alive and my third archers here getting shot at. Still focusing down the Berserkers. Ooh, shooting flaming. Not what you want to do against Berserkers. Get another charge in here. So lots of kills on these axes. Focusing down still the Berserkers. But they're not dying, really. Shooting the Berserkers again and again and again. Because really, they need to die. Why are they alive? More of my archers focusing on these berserkers, down to 51 men. Still not dying though, 52 here. Flaming shot not really doing very, very well here. This heavy shot is going to do the work. I guess I'm trying to finish th this spearman down. Ooh, these berserkers however have dropped a lot in number. So this is really good that they're starting to drop. These axes here, I should probably just charge them with my cab very soon. Once I notice, I think I do. Yeah, there we go. Gonna go in. I'm also charging in here into the spear unit. And I get into these archers as well. And also into the sword herdman here. I engage his warlord companion, which is fine because this means I have more free units around. I forgot about this cab unit and just only now I'm sending it in. But yeah, this massive blob here, I got my horsemen in. I'm getting rid of all these berserkers because I just charged them and I'm blobbing against them. So, there's not going to be a lot of them left and he's getting taken down. Whistling shot is hurting him. So, now they have actually just routed. Shooting my gen here though, I think. But, I got my cav charge into his general. I'm going to pull out, get more of my archers in melee to stop this warlord companion from doing anything. Charging in more of my royal horsemen into all these archers, so they're gonna go down. Royal horsemen here doing a fantastic job. And uh, sooner rather than later, all these units should be routed off the field. And that is indeed game. 
So as you can see, all my archers here did a phenomenal job. Axemen did, eh. Even the general did all right. But yeah, horsemen and royal companions, the real MVPs here, just did so much damage with their charges into the axes and such. But anyway, that's game one. So I'll see you in game two. This is game two of the match between me and the sir. Sir again is of uh, the implant. Anyway. In this game, I actually decided to switch up my build a little bit. So, I do still obviously have the Royal Companion General with Brace. But, I have one Thane on each flank and a third Axeman in the center. And I still have the same Archer setup. Four select Archers and four third Archers, of course. But now I have, alright, four Horsemen, but then only three Royal Horsemen. So we'll see if this will pay for itself, I mean the two things. I'm trying to mind game a little bit. Making him not bring as many infantry units, hopefully. But yeah, let's look at the build of a sir. Again, the Danes, he has Warlord's Companions, Bronze 2 Gen. With Brace. Then we have two Spearmen on the left, two Spearmen on the right. Also... Let's see. Oh, an interesting choice. Alright, so. Looks like we have one axe Ferdman, two big axes, and one berserker here. Alright. Then up front we see one, two, three, four of these sword Herdmen. I mean, they're heavy melee infantry, so. They're not gonna take that much damage from missiles, but heavy shot is still gonna be painful. And now the big, big, big change. Well, I mean, not that big of a change, but still. We actually see, okay, the four armored archers, but then two extra archers on top of that. So, more archers than before. And, I mean, he's actually taken a lot of the axes out. Because they weren't really good against Cav, right? So, I think this was actually a good decision on my behalf to take out one Cav and add, like, extra infantry. Because with this decision, this does actually allow me to bring the two Thanes, which might actually be fairly good against his army composition. We'll see though, because the the, real, the extra real horsemen could be doing lots of damage, like charging into Sword Herdman and such. Yeah, here as you can already see is Sword Herdman taking massive damage from uh, Heavy Shot. Not that much, because I mean they have excellent armor, so... Yeah, I don't know why I activated loose formation. I did it on mistake by mistake, so now I'm suffering because of it. Shooting at this sword Herman means that I'm gonna be hitting both of these archers, which will be nice. As you can see, though, he's actually moving up a lot with his swords here. I'm gonna pull back my cav, and here I side. Okay, sword Herman here actually doing what they're doing here. So, why not? I'm just gonna charge in with the cav. Here, this charge, very successful. This charge, very successful. Now, I'm gonna, after, directly after charging in, I'm gonna just charge through. That was not a good move because uh, these axes actually got a lot of kills as I did that. So, the pulling through there was not very effective. Pulling through archers is alright, trying to get more kills here. Going into his archers here, stopping his big axes. I got in here, killed a lot of these guys, and now I'm gonna use this thing here, which eventually is gonna die, of course, but it's gonna kill this beard. I'm doing so much damage here. He's lost a lot of his archers, especially as he's pulling them out now. I'm gonna pull away this royal horseman while I'm shooting into the sword herman with the archers, so. He's like under so much disarray here. I do a rear charge onto this Berserker, but since it's a Berserker, it doesn't really take damage, as you can see. So that was not the great. I really shouldn't be charging Berserkers with Cav, it's not a good idea. So here, I get into this Axe Herdman. Not the best charge, though, apparently. Actually, it doesn't even kill anything, that charge, so that was really bad. I do, of course, charge into the Levy Freeman right after, but not doing too much damage either. I'm gonna focus on to the Warlord's Companions, I believe. Or am I, though? Not sure. Yeah, now I am. I guess I misclicked the attack order. 
Did get these horsemen into the armor archers, but not doing really well. Gonna engage though over here. I tried activating shield wall, but yeah. Side, why not? Let's just deal with the spearmen. Spearmen. Wow, I meant spearmen. <laughs> what did I just say? Anyway, disregard that. I'm charging uh, the spearmen with my thanes. This berserker here, I'm. I don't know what I'm doing here. I should be pulling out this horseman. Indeed, I am doing that right now. Trying to charge the berserker from multiple angles. Not gonna go so great though. Focusing down the sword herman because if it goes down, then I can actually do nice focus fire onto his gen. I'm still doing that though. So I charge in the berserker and I pull out, but the berserker is really strong though. So I need like multiple charges from multiple angles to actually kill it. Like if I charge it from the front and from the rear, it should be dead, right? And I'm gonna pull out here. I do a charge, but I fail because I charge into my own archers. So I'm gonna pull out my cav. Ooh, I disrupted my own lines here. So he's actually gonna get extra kills on top of that. But on the side, my royal companions here haven't lost anything and are killing spearmen. So that's good. Now hopefully I'm gonna push in with those there. I gotta charge again into the Axe Herman, pulling through into the Berserkers. He's shooting his own Berserkers right now and his own Axe Herdman, so some friendly fire is being dealt here. And after I charge in here and pulled out my Horseman, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus down these Berserkers. These Berserkers need to die, absolutely. Still in play here, but they're down to like 20 something men. So not a lot. I get a nice charge here into everything and now that I've got this scav unit here I really shouldn't have pulled through I should have kept it in here so it would stay in as long as possible but yeah what I'm doing now is I'm focusing with my archers onto his general and killing a lot of everything here actually in the meantime while I'm doing that but his general is gonna go down fast to massed archer fire as you can see here, he's down to like 60 something and he's also losing a lot of men. And I think he's firing flaming shot at his own troops, but I'm not sure. My general here has mopped up a lot of those units and only lost one man. Here I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna send in the horseman for his general. Stop all of these units. And this is where I think everything turns around in my favor. Because the, begin the game started off well, but then I started losing grasp of the game because of wasting too much calf. But now with these volleys here, he's actually used flaming shot on himself, I believe. No, he's actually doing whistling shot. Wow. So he's actually just going to rout his own men. But here I might be able to kill the general here, as you can see. I know at least I take it off the field, but that's not the same as killing him. He is, however, now just going to rout. So it's time to focus other units. Now pull out here, he's using rapid advance. Enemy Very annoying. But yeah, these units here are not coming back. Bit more heavy shot and gonna go down. Just watch this these berserkers go down. All these axes are on such low man count and morale. They should be routing right now, but like for real. Ooh, wasting volleys though. This isn't great. I did kill one of these guys though, just randomly. Focus that unit, focus this unit. Everything here dies, so now I'm just gonna move. Uh, with the rapid advance, he did catch up to my third archers with the Levy Freeman though. That was not ideal, but I do get this Spearman off the field. It should come back if I recall correctly though. Yes, it does come back. Still though. He's unable to do anything with his archers for now, but they're actually faster than my gen. So 30 speed on my gen. 35, even 40 on these regular archers. So he's catching up real fast to my gen. This is something that's worrying, of course, because if he catches up to my gen and he kills them, as you can see, it's kind of happening here because look at these guys, they're exhausted. So the way they're running, it, it's almost as if they're walking, really. Just look at how they're running. They're so slow. Because they're like totally encumbered by the armor and such. But anyway, here the spearmen have been taken care of. 
There is this one other spear unit that's now just activated rapid advance, so it's trying to really get to me right now. But it's gonna lose a lot of men in the process. Just look at them chase me. They're trying to chase me. They're not gonna get anywhere. You guys, what are you trying to do? What are you even trying to do? So, my archers running away. Still running and running and running. Focusing down the spearmen now, they are just gonna fight it. Select archers. Come on, fire guys. They're not really firing. They're like, nope, why should we fire? So that spearmen getting targeted from the back and from the rear. So these guys are pretty much dead. They have nowhere to run, nowhere to go. Just gonna get shot down to pieces. This guy is super bloody all over his body. And now he's dead. I like how they're trying to reform while getting shot at. It's like they don't have anything else better to do. So this spearman is gone. What this means is that... Just has archers left. And I have... This slain unit that I can use to push into his uh, missiles. And I'm trying to get my general away because I don't want it to get shot. So if my general were to get shot here and die, that could be really bad because, as you can see, the morale on my archers is not really that high. So, with, combined with flaming, whistling, and the death of my general, that could be a massive chain route on my side, which wouldn't be really bad because then I would lose the game, obviously. So here he's doing a great job trying to focus down my gen, I assume, with heavy shot. And my gen is going down. He's down to 65, which is really worrying for me. He's going to drop down even more. To 63, that's, that's not a lot. 62 now. But now it doesn't really matter because I managed to chain route him as I started to fire on more of his units. And I imagine the general finally went off the field, which is what caused the chain route. So yeah, let's look at the statistics here. Royal Companions and doing well, this thing doing well, and this other thing not doing that great. And for the Axemen though, uh, doing all right for itself. Archers again, doing lots of damage and the cap. Again, the Royal Horsemen really pulling in their weight. As far as Sarah, well, his Sword Herman, two of them zero kills and these two not getting too much done either. Berserkers, obviously really paying for themselves I should say uh, these big axes did some damage but not as much axe heard one here the archers were annoying but I feel like they could have been even more annoying than they were in this game anyway hope you all enjoyed don't forget to comment rate and subscribe follow me on social media and I'll see you next time